Good day, everyone. Today, I'm going to be unboxing a box of Drukhari Scourges. And why, you may ask, am I unboxing a fairly old um, set? Well, the answer will become apparent in my model vlogs in the months to come. But suffice to say, I am quite fascinated at this uh, box because you do get a lot of very interesting and flexible parts on the sprue and I'm actually quite excited to uh, discover what the possibilities are. Um, again, suffice to say, I will be using this for a modeling project and I won't be assembling um, my scourges as you see on the box. I will be using various parts for various different projects. Um, as you can see, um, I've barely touched the box. It's still in its plastic wrap and let's uh, start to uh, take this apart. Another thing that you'll notice is um, if you look in the reflections of the plastic of the box, you'll find that I'm wearing a shirt this time. A number of uh, my viewers have told me in confidence that it was quite apparent that I was doing my last uh, unboxing with no shirt on because glimpses of me were seen in the reflection of the plastic. So that's that. Now, um, now that we've gotten the plastic off and we don't have that much uh, reflections anymore, um, we see the box art on the front and um, some options on the back and you can see that there are a number of ranged weapon options uh, on the uh, on the box set and um, so you get a mixture of both uh, melee and ranged weapons and the one that I'm particularly interested in and I think uh, they would make quite a good addition to my kill team uh, is the Dark Lance. Uh, the Dark Lance looks a lot like an Elder Long Rifle um, and I'd like to explore how I can actually use that for an Eldar Ranger uh, conversion. So um, let's uh, pop this uh, box open and see what we get on the sprue. Now I'm, I am hoping for a number of weapon options, head options and wing uh, options so we do know that we do get at least five sets of wings um, and that's another thing that I'm very interested in, in seeing. Um, bases as usual, paper as usual with clearly instructions on how to assemble your scourges. Um, yes, so as you can see we do have a number of ranged uh, weapons and arm choices again uh, with the shard carbine on the left and then your splinter haywire and heat lance on the left uh, on the second page um, you do have a number of uh, different options and they do give you instructions but as we all know I don't I don't read instructions so let's get rid of that one and there we have it um, we've got two sprues and right off the bat I already can see that uh, we do have one, two, three, four, five pairs of wings. So we only have enough wings for the five scourges that come on the box. I was hoping that I'd be able to assemble um, all the scourges with feathered wings as opposed to two with bat wings. I do like uniformity but that's fine because I actually won't be assembling these scourges. Um, in addition to that, uh, let's start with uh, the sprue I have on my right hand side. Um, now this sprue does fascinate me a bit because you do have a fair amount of melee uh, choices. So um, a lot, fair number of bladed and whips and chained weapons as well as the uh, dark lance that uh, I was uh, going on about just now. Um, and if you compare it to um, a Elda long rifle, unfortunately it is a lot larger than an Elda long rifle, but I don't see that 
as much of a problem. I could trim out some of the spiky bits and it could really do, do pass off as a as a long rifle if I really wanted to. Uh, some of these other weapons uh, might be able to pass off as that as well. Um, I, I do like that they've given a fair number of hit options. You see there are six here already, far exceeding the number of uh, Dark Elder Scourges that uh, you can build. You've got one more up there, um, if you can see that, uh, and I'm in focus. And you've got a um, the, the lead uh, uh, feller um, right there. I... I don't own a Drukhari Codex and I don't actually have a Drukhari army. I am purely using this for a project that I have um, for to take part in the AOP in 2019, Armies on Parade. So I bought this especially for the Feathered Wings. I bought this especially for uh, some of the melee weapons that you see here, especially the whip and the chain uh, over there. Now, um, as always, I do like to take a closer look at the sprues and give you a closer look at them because, um, because my fixation is mainly on modeling, I like to see the options I have in taking these components and using them for other parts. Uh, I do have um, a lot of Harlequin bits. Uh, and as you, as you know, Harlequins, as I mentioned in one of my videos, uh, the box does come with a fair amount of extra pieces. The pieces that are limited are the legs. So you do only have five, five or six uh, fixed number of Harlequin legs, but a fair number of torsos and, and limbs. Now, I can actually grab the legs from this box and use them for Harlequins. I could pass them off as, as Harlequins quite easily because that's all I need. Um, but back here, again, because I like to do a fair amount of modeling, I do like uh, the, the spear that came with, uh, with the set as well. And also a, a fair number of the heads where I could actually pass them off uh, as heads from other races, mainly um, Eldar, if I could trim off some of the spikes or, or smoothen it up with green stuff. Well, that's it for this sprue. Um, looking at the, the other sprue, um, you see that I still have a fair number of ranged weapons and what looks to be almost a fusion pistol and that would fit in well with my Harlequins uh, also. Um, as you can see, and I'll give you a closer look at the bat wings, th they are different from the bat wings on the other sprue. You'll see these ones have a trail of bone on the, uh, on, on the end that is closest to the body, while this one does not. Um, and I do like that amount of variety. The same is true uh, for the feathered wings. As you can see, some of the feathered wings um, have uh, uh, no uh, claws on the, on the tip. Um, while others, you do see some teensy claws, almost like an Archaeopteryx. And on this um, sprue, you see that it's got a spike at the end of the armor. And that's another thing I like about these wings, that they do have sort of an armor uh, plating along the leading edge. And that's very, very nice. Um, and also you see that the... Uh, grooves and the the detail on the feathers are very very uh, very clear and that will come off well when you start to uh, layer down your shades now back to the back to the sprue that I was looking at you'll see that it comes with at least five uh, dark elder torsos and also more heads um, more options for my heads there is at least one more head on this and a couple of nice um, hands as well. This one is actually pointing, which I like a lot. I would assume that uh, some of these uh, components are actually uh, connected to the uh, ranged weapons as well. Uh, this looks to be a hand holding a grenade of some sort. And I'll be very excited to find out. Uh, what it actually is. I believe that's true. It is a, it is a grenade holding hand. 
um, and the head that I pointed out earlier uh, actually is unhelmeted so I could actually pass that off as possibly a howling banshee or even um, place it on a, a demonet um, and that might actually you know give me a very feminine looking uh, demonet head instead of the the monstrous looking ones that that come in the box and more on the demonets later I will be reviewing uh, the sprues that come in Wrath and Rapture. Um, a little bit of detail on the legs. You'll see that the uh, Scourge legs do have very nice claws and spikes and all that. Um, that wouldn't really look out of place uh, in sort of a Slaneshi cultist type of uh, uh, army or type of unit. And I will be having a lot of fun uh, pulling out some of these uh, for Chaos and for Slanesh uh, specifically. Um, again, you got a fair amount of little details. I love the uh, little packs and pouches that come uh, with grenades and everything along around their waist. Uh, these are particularly nice. And um, following that, what's left on this sprue are a set of backpacks and clearly the backpacks are designed to fit perfectly with uh, the wings. There is a peg on the wing that go into the backpack. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be using them. I will have to do some green stuff to make sure these wings fit on other um, other miniatures. But um, all in all, I have to say that while I did not get uh, the uh, full range of five pairs of feathered wings or five pairs of uh, bat wings that I wanted, this isn't that bad a box set. Um, we do get a lot of range uh, weapon choices that I can kit bash with a fair number of other other units um, as well as the legs I needed um, to um, add a bit of uh, variety to my harlequins and especially the um, melee weapons that you see here um, the spear um, could do very well as a singing spear as well as the the whips and chains uh, specifically what I need uh, in some of my upcoming projects. Now, if you like the format of the way I, I review um, new and old um, box sets, please let me know if there's anything you don't like about the way I conduct these reviews and um, if you actually don't want me to go into detail on the sprue, um, please let me know in the comments section as well. Um, but in any case, I do thank you for uh, your attention and I do thank you for liking, following and subscribing uh, to my channel. I will have, I will try my best to have an unboxing every Saturday. I was a little bit late today but I will try to have an unboxing every Saturday um, so as to you know, keep the pace up as well as intersperse that with some model vlogs. I am going to push out um, another episode of uh, model vlog uh, and update you on the progress of my Redemptor Plasma Cannon. Uh, and furthermore, I will have a series coming up um, building up to the concept of what I'm planning for Armies on Parade next year. I won't reveal everything, um, but after Armies on Parade is over, I will go deep into detail at, um, into what I built for it. So please like, subscribe and comment and tell me what you like best. And uh, if you feel so inclined, do visit my Patreon as well and do make a contribution. I would be very grateful that you help me keep this channel uh, going so that I can do more and be of service to you and show you around some of these sprues that I've, uh, I, I've uh, included in my collection. Thank you all. See you next time.